so I somewhat started off with the blow dried hair but not too much and I just combed it out just so I could manage it I used the red top argan oil equal styler gel I used a comb so I can make sure to comb my hair back and I got this new edge control and it is a great glass I'm gonna link it down in the description I also use rubber bands the larger ones so that um, I can tie it multiple times a wide tooth comb and then oil to keep my scalp moisturized I then go and part my hair uh, I was gonna do two sections but I ended up doing three and this just helps especially if you have 4c hair this helps you be able to have like a flat sleek ponytail This is my first time using this Eco Styler Gel. I asked the worker at the beauty supply store which one's the best, and this is the one that she recommended for me. Um, so far, I really, really like it. I've had my sleek ponytail in for about a week, and I love it. Everything is tight and in place, so I definitely think that this is the one that you're going to use if you're trying to go for this look. It may look like I'm pulling on my hair kind of hard, but I'm just very tender-headed in any type of anything that touches my hair. I just don't like it. So ignore my facial expressions. I'm just extremely expressive. So here I changed the lighting because it was kind of dark and I didn't think that I couldn't see because I was using my phone to see what I was doing. So I couldn't see. So I knew that if someone was watching, they really wouldn't be able to see either. Uh, this is the back of my head. Like... Y'all, don't worry about what it looks like. It doesn't have to be in perfect parts. The goal is just for it to be flat. So as you can see, I'm putting the gel on. I'm slicking it down with the comb with my hands. And then I'm checking with my hand. I put the glove on because I have a like break in my nail that I need to get fixed. And it kept snagging on my hair. So I put the glove on so that um, I didn't have anything snag on my nail, my broken nail. And make sure you guys get the kitchen. Um, you guys do not want to have that ponytail. And when you bend your head down, someone sees your crazy looking kitchen. So make sure you put edge control and gel on the back of your hair so that it's sleek as well. One mistake I made is that I think I looped it a little bit too many times. Um, it was a little bit too tight and I had to unravel it later. So maybe don't do too many loops. And as you can see here, I am tired. That is an arm workout, okay? And then now I'm taking down another section. And I'm just gonna repeat. I'm gonna uh, use the gel and comb it, I mean brush it down so that I can be flat. So if you want to like pre-section it, you can like kind of uh, put your hair in like a little mohawk and um, tie it off so that it could already be sectioned before you start. And ignore my computer. I'm just watching old Trisha videos and I really didn't realize that my computer was on there. <laughs> so ignore that.
tie off that second section um next time what i wish i did is that i wish i put got to be as well on this section too because uh, it would have laid a little bit flatter if i would have probably used the gotta be and just a little bit more gel yikes please ignore my faces here i like i said it does not hurt i just i don't know why i'm so expressive when i do my hair i look crazy so just ignore the faces and make sure you use edge control on this part it's very important because it's going to really give it that nice sleek look and then when you eventually do your baby hairs it's going to look really really nice i got this new edge control i'm going to link it in the description and i love it um one thing about it is that it does leave a little bit of white residue sometimes after you leave it on for a day and it's like a little bit of product build up on there but it's the only gel that really keeps my edges down and like i said i have 4c here so that's pretty good and as you can see when i turn around it's a tad tad bit of a hump you can barely tell but um it's a tad hump and i think that would have um been a little bit more flattened if i took a little bit more time on that second section and really like combed it down um, but here i'm just uh tying off my hair into like a knot so that the ponytail can uh be secured onto something my sleek ponytail the front the side and the back and to finish it off I just use the got to be spray ignore the bottle it's a little dirty make sure you get the got to be spray not the got not the gorilla glue don't do that get the got to be spray and this will harden your hair a bit but I'm telling you there will be no flyaways or anything for days um, it really lasts and I didn't have that much white residue you might get a little bit of flaking though here's my hair after I did my baby hairs and put my ponytail in and this is maybe like four days after I did it so it's still very sleek I use the model model ponytail I'll put in the link in the description and that's it